thinking of leaving clinical medicine, what to consider before hanging up your stethoscope. Now watch this video to the end as I share some insights and to help you decide whether you should or should not be quitting clinical medicine. Hi, I'm Dr. Selina and I'm the founder of Medic Footprints Malaysia. Medic Footprints Malaysia is a tribe by doctors for doctors, it's a community platform that connects doctors to diverse careers. So many footprints Malaysia started when I was told by my HRD that I didn't have a future in NS and that I should leave. Now, I'm going to just tell you um, a backstory of how it came to that. Now, I was a medical doctor for about seven to eight years now, and in the last three to four years, I was trained in the anesthesiology department. Now, as doctors, we really pride ourselves. Uh, to how well we can perform our job, our duties, right? So I was really good at my job and I thought I was going to be an intensivist. But then uh, I had a slip disc and it was a bad slip disc. So after that, I went up to my HOD at that time and I asked for a light duty to recuperate. And what he said to me just absolutely shocked me. He just flatly refused. He said, you, didn't have, you don't have a future here in NS and I think it's time for you to leave. I was furious, I was shocked. I mean, I expected some compassion, but I didn't get it. And at that time, I was just thinking, oh my God, this is not worth it. I was just tired, I was upset, and I just thought, oh, you know what, maybe it's time. It's time for me. So I left. So on my last day, my colleague called me to go down to the labor room because uh, she was struggling to insert an epidural catheter for a patient. So I went down. I uh, went to help her and I got the catheter in on the first try and at that point, I started to doubt my decision whether I should leave but I left and I went to a medical research facility when I was there, I realised that holy cow, that was not for me it was a whole new world and I did not belong there now I'm starting to think, oh my god, what have I done? what have I done to my career? should I go back? should I you know, apply and become a doctor somewhere else? Should I go to uh, US, Australia, UK, somewhere, anywhere? You know, so that I just get back into clinical medicine. You know, I was so good at what I was doing. I was so skillful and now I'm thinking, is this all going to go to waste? You know, I was in absolute conflict with my decision. I don't know whether I really should leave because I absolutely love the ICU. I love managing patients, critical patients. I love performing procedures. But, I could not deal with the that had to come with it. You know, the lack of compassion for doctors, the lack of support, the insane number of hours we were expected to work without falling asleep. Now, truth be told, it took me about a year to finally come to peace with my decision. I realised that, you know, I'm never going back to clinical medicine. And if I ever do go back, it's going to be on my own terms. I realise that uh, I'm not the only doctor who's going through this. I know there are many of us out there who's going through the same problem. So I'm just going to share some insights like how I came to that decision of leaving clinical medicine. Now, if you resonate with my story, be sure to check it out on our website, medicalprints.com.my. Be sure to create a free subscriber account to stay updated on the latest updates on our upcoming events and also all the job openings for doctors in Malaysia. So the first question is really pertinent that you need to ask yourself is, is it medicine or is it the system? Now, I know this answer may not be easy to find, but you have to be really honest with yourself why it is that you are so unhappy at work. Now, I'll just give you an example of my own experience, how I came to this decision. Now, one, I actually enjoy and I love the art of medicine, you know, talking to patients, diagnosing patients, finding out what's wrong with this critically ill patient. That excites me. But there was so much that came along with this joy of practicing medicine that I absolutely hate. I just couldn't deal with the bullshit that came with it. The work culture, the politics, the insane number of hours that I had to put in to be good at it. Right? That I felt that there was so much that was not in my control. Like half the months, I was not at home, um, I wasn't sleeping in my own bed, and I was living life like a zombie. And I wasn't happy. Now, I... I know that being here in 
Malaysia in a government setting, I couldn't have one or the other. Part of me did think of, hey, maybe I should go to Australia and work there. After a whole year of soul searching, I came to the decision that, hey, I didn't want to live my life like this forever. Though I've always wanted to be a doctor, I realized that, you know, I wasn't happy doing what I was doing anymore. I wasn't growing as a person. I felt like my growth potential was just so flat. I wasn't doing anything else. I wasn't learning anything new. So that's how I decided that, you know, I think I'm ready to close the chapter on medicine, at least for now. If it's the system, is there something you can do about it, something you can change about it? Maybe move to another department, another hospital, perhaps going to a private hospital, private practice, or if you prefer less hours, maybe freelance locum. How about lifestyle medicine? Or, you know, maybe even consider becoming a doctor overseas. If it's medicine itself, if you stop enjoying seeing patients, counseling patients, you've lost that passion, that drive, that spark, maybe it's time to think about moving out of clinical medicine, moving into another career. Now, this is probably the hardest decision you'll ever have to make, especially if medicine has been your whole life and your identity. Now, this decision, only you can make it. Nobody else can decide for you. Not your mom, your dad, your uncle, auntie, neighbors, teachers, friends, groups. Nobody can decide for you, but you. So you have to ask yourself, do you truly hate medicine? Or are there just aspects of your current job that is fooling you into thinking that you hate medicine? By the way, we are organizing our first ever Diverse Career Summit for Doctors right here in KL, this 20th of August, 2022. This is going to be a one-of-its-kind event and you get to speak and mingle with like-minded doctors who are thinking of leaving clinical medicine and also with doctors who have already left and made a successful career for themselves in fields outside of clinical medicine. Do check out the event to the link in the bio, in the description below. Okay, the second thing is sunk cost fallacy. Now, when I left clinical medicine, one of the most common phrases that I get thrown at me is, oh, you're not practicing anymore? Oh, but you studied uh, five years of clinical medicine. You were in med school for five years. Ayo, what a waste. Now, to tell you, I'm really immune to that phrase right now. I mean, initially I was afraid to tell people that I'm no longer a practicing doctor because I'm so afraid of judgment from my peers and family. But here's the thing, um, I wasn't happy. Now, I'll just break it down for you. You spent five years, and some maybe six years in medical school, two years of housemanship, and X number of years as an MO. But the thing is, you're not happy, you're not fulfilled. Now, you've already invested 10 years of your life practicing medicine. Do you continue to invest another 20 years into something you're not happy doing, which is continuing to practice medicine the way it is right now? This is because everyone around you tells you, oh, it's such a waste if you gave up right now. Now that's the sunk cost fallacy. Continuing to do something that doesn't benefit you, that doesn't make you happy, just because you've already invested that time and money and effort into it. So you need to ask yourself, what will you lose if you stay? And what do you stand to gain if you leave? The third thing is, can you take a break? Now, can you take a break from clinical medicine and come back to it later? You know, maybe can you find some non-clinical roles? I mean, if you are a contract houseman, a contract MO, and your contract is almost up, can you think about maybe going into freelance locum, uh, doing that temporarily just to find your footing before you find your footing, or maybe find some other non-clinical role out there? You might actually really surprise yourself at how much talents you have outside of medicine. Like for me, for myself, you know, um, ever since I left clinical medicine, I actually am very impressed and surprised that, wow, I have so much talent and potential outside of medicine. And if I was not forced to leave, I don't think I would, ever, would have ever found them. By the way, we are organizing our first ever Diverse Career Summit for Doctors right here in KL, this 20th of August, 2022. This is going to be a one of its kind event and you get to speak and mingle with like-minded doctors who are thinking of leaving clinical medicine and also with doctors who have already left and made a successful career for themselves 
in fields outside of clinical medicine. Do check out the event to the link in the bio in the description below. Know exactly why you're leaving. Now you have to be very clear on why you're leaving. Don't be running away from something but rather run towards something. You know what made it very clear for me was, uh, I mean what helped for me was writing down on a piece of paper the pros and the cons of staying and leaving. And that made it so clear for me. I knew exactly why I was leaving. I left because I wanted to run and build Medic Footprints Malaysia. So for you out there, do go and talk to people, you know, trash it out with your friends, family, colleagues, mentors. Know exactly why you're leaving. Lastly, you are not alone. There are many, many doctors who have left clinical medicine and found very meaningful careers outside in other fields. And you know, you could be one of them. If you enjoyed this video so far, be sure to like, comment and subscribe or share this video to whoever you think may benefit from it. Now, remember to check out our Diverse Careers Summit that's happening right here in KL on the 20th of August, 2022. The link is in the description below.